Hi, welcome to the Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, we are talking about Cisco to Brocade migration. So um, if you're migrating a Cisco configuration to a Brocade, or even if you're configuring a Cisco to a Brocade, it's important to understand the differences um, and similarities between the, the command line configurations for various features. So we're talking about Power of Ethernet, and you'll see that the Power of Ethernet configuration is very, very similar between the two. Um, and then we'll look at some show commands to verify that. So here we are on our Cisco device. Uh, so we'll config T, and um, so we can we can turn PoE on uh, either on an individual interface or a range of interfaces. So we'll do it on a range of interfaces. So we'll say interface range um, gigabit Ethernet zero one to twelve. So we'll configure this range of ports, twelve ports at a time, and then we'll do a power inline. Uh, and we have a few options here, right? So we could do auto and automatically detect. We can set the consumption. Uh, we can say never apply power, or we can set a, a high priority, so a, a static priority that, to the device. But we're going to say auto. And then under auto, excuse me, we can set the maximum allowed power on the interface. Or if we just hit enter, it will, um, it could apply the maximum amount that that port is capable of. So if it's a PoE port it'll be capable of 15.4 watts. If it's a PoE plus port, 30 watts, um, et cetera. So we'll just turn it on auto for that range of ports. And then um, if we do a show power inline, what we, what we see here is uh, gigabit ethernet zero one, it's administratively set to auto, it's operationally on. So that means there's a power consuming device out that port. It's consuming 15.4, and this happens to be a uh, ruckus access point. So it's pulling the, the whole 15.4. It's a class four device, max 15.4 on the port. Zero two, um, it is it is on, it is pulling 6.3 watts, and it's a Cisco phone. It's a, it's a 7961 Cisco phone, which is a class two device. Um, so it's not pulling the whole 15.4, even though that port it could do 16.4. Um, we could also see um, if you've got CDP turned on or LDP turned on, uh, you should be able to get some information from those. So show CDP neighbor, right? So there's our phone on 02. Um, and then show LLDP neighbor. Right, we can see our phone. We can also see that the, there's another brocade switch attached to us. We see with LDP, and we can pull some details on that. So it's telling us, you know, here's the the port ID, um, here's the system name. So this is the Cisco phone. It's a 7961G. Um, what else we got? It tells us what type of interface it is. It's uh, not advertising any VLAN ID yet. Um, we can also use voice VLAN, right? So you can use voice VLAN even on the brocade side to tell that that device what um, what VLAN it should be advertising. And then if there's a network policy assigned, uh, how it's going to send the voice traffic and voice signal traffic, etc. Okay, so uh, that's the Cisco side, pretty easy. Now the brocade side, almost the same. Uh, the difference, right, is so again, we do it on the interface. So we'll go interface E, um, and in our world, everything's called Ethernet, right? So we don't have to specify gig Ethernet or fast Ethernet or whatever. Uh, one zero, we'll say 13 to 24, and then do an inline power. So, um, You'll see here that our range command is done differently, right? So we don't need to specify the word range. We just specify the beginning port and the word two and the ending port. And that's how we do a range, which is similar, um, but not exactly the same as Cisco. So I'm just going to move the cables over here and plug that same access point and that same Cisco phone into some ports uh, on the brocade side. And we should see a very similar result when these boot up. So the phone and the access point are uh, booting up here. So let's see what we can see. So show 
inline power. So, so the biggest thing you'll notice, right, is that the command is backwards. So on the Cisco, it was show power inline. On the brocade side, it's show inline power. But, you know, that's a minor difference. And of course, you know, com uh, question mark is always your friend, right? Question mark and tab, they work on the Cisco, they work on the brocade. You can see what the command completions are. Um, we also on the brocade side have the ability to, you know, set a maximum amount of power on the interface, set priorities on the interface uh, for, for power, you know, so we have all the same capabilities from an inline power perspective. Um, so what do we see here? Let me run those one more time to see how they're doing in their boot cycle. So we can see that um, 1122 is, that's my access point, right? So it's pulling 2.8 watts right now, but it's it's a it's a PoE plus port. It's a 30 watt port. It's uh, advertising itself as 802.3AT as a class four device. Uh, and then my Cisco phone is on 1123. So it's administratively on. Um, it's pulling three watts of power or 3,000 milliwatts. Um, it's allocated 6.3 because it's told us that it could consume up to 6.3. It's an 802.3 AF device. So this was these are negotiated parameters with the device, and it's a class two. Here's the priority here. So everything starts as a as a priority three in the brocade world, and the number as the number gets lower, the device gets more important. So if it was a mission critical device, you could set its priority to to two or one to make sure that it keeps running in the event that the device runs out of power. Um, we can also see up here the Cisco showed the same thing, um, the total number of watts in the pool, right? So this is in milliwatts, and then the free uh, watts in the pool. So um, pretty much the same and then so show LLDP neighbor if we have it running yep so there's our Cisco phone and the show LDP neighbor so it's going to show us basically the same detail right so we can see that it's a Cisco phone it, what interface it's on on the other side um, oh nope sorry that's a switch here's the phone so it's showing us the phone it's showing us uh, um, what its system name is that it's a, it's a 7961g so pretty much all the same information there's our voice and uh, voice signaling um, so all the same information that the Cisco saw we see in LDP because it's you know vendor interoperable and, and a standard um, we can also read CDP packets but there is no show CDP neighbor it's a show FTP neighbor uh, and under show FTP neighbor, it's actually showing us CDP devices. So the asterisk here indicates that it's a CDP device. Um, the, the reason we don't have a show CDP neighbor is because technically we don't run CDP. We only receive CDP packets. We can't because it's a Cisco proprietary protocol uh, and you know Cisco does not want us to run CDP. Um, we can only read it if we receive those packets. We don't send CDP. So, uh, but we could also do a detail on that and get detailed CDP information. You know, so here's our here's our phone here, um, detailed information about that. What port it is that's coming in? What port on the phone? Uh, you know, VLAN capabilities, etc. So anyway, uh, so the important thing to remember here is that you know, in the Cisco world, it's a it's a it's a power inline, and in the brocade world, it's an inline power. But otherwise, they work pretty much identically and interchangeably. Okay, so simple as that. Thanks very much, and uh, we'll see you again. Take care.